Welcome back to Absolutely Marvel in DC. My name is Benny, that is Sal, and that is Dylan. This is your home for analytical discussions of your favorite superhero movies and TV shows, theory discussions, just generalized rants about the community, and us just having fun with the world of movies and TV shows. Don't forget to join the Absolute Army by hitting the like button, smashing subscribe, and hitting notifications. And if you want to hear us talking about video games, check out Absolutely PlayStation Esteem Gamers. Dylan and I don't stop talking, we talk all day. Today <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at the Spider-Man No Way Home poster that has officially come out. And I almost I almost fell for one of those hype, hype Twitters because the poster came out and it literally said, trailer dropping tomorrow. That's today. So as of the time of filming this, there's no trailer. And I looked it up <laughs> and it said, Spider-Man No Way Home official Twitter. And then it's like 800 followers. No, you're not. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is not it. Nope. I just nope. Wanna Damn it. I want to point out the irony of uh, both of you going on like a 30 minute rant about um, people in the Spider-Man No Way Home fandom blowing up about nothing. And now we're making an entire video about a poster. <laughs> <laughs> well, this yeah, well, is probably... It, Go ahead. Oh, just if this were a poster like Marvel normally makes of three actors all looking in different directions. Yeah, I'd be, <laughs> I'd be like, forget it. But they like this was one of those things that... There's there's a discussion about it. They're like I heard about this post before I saw it, and I heard people talking about how it was fake, and I saw TikToks being like, "This is fake, and here's why," and blah 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 blah. And then it was real, and Sony's like, "It's real," and it's like there's a lot of discussion about this poster already. I I'm excited to discuss it because like it is actually suggesting a lot of things, as opposed right. to like the trailer, which is like, well, you gotta see you gotta pause, you gotta look, you can zoom in on this poster. Everything in this poster is deliberate. Oh yeah, yeah. It, well, does look, for, I, it does look kind of fake. I will. It does look fake. <laughs> yeah. Especially the stuff. <laughs> there's like one part, which I'm sure we'll get to. I mean, it's the it's the guy back there. That yeah. looks uh -huh. fake. Look <laughs> it does. It does. Matter of fact, I saw Sorry, that on the tweets, and I thought somebody photoshopped him in. <laughs> right. Like the Green Goblin in the background. Little green I'm Goblin like, that stamp they just put yeah. in there. <laughs> yeah. No, well, because, like... Well, we'll get into it. We'll, we'll okay. get into why this well, looks so fake. Well, let's do it. Let's, uh, let's go in. If this okay. isn't a trailer, we don't have to get to it, Sal. No, We're it looks fake a poster. <laughs> because it's just the exact same pose that Spider-Man makes in the trailer. That's, yeah. that's a shot-for-shot shot use of a spider of Spider-Man doing a thing in the trailer. This poster was made by an intern in like three hours, so, <laughs> so it's I'm exaggerating, poster. but <laughs> like... No, it's, you're probably I, not, and I'll get to what people are going in at. So we got... <laughs> Here, uh, let's go through this list here of why you went why it looks fake. We'll discuss it more. But we yeah. got the obvious teases. We got Green Goblin. We got the Electro Lightning. We got yep. the um, Doc the Ock Arms. Doc Ock Arms, and then the sand Sandman. Now, yep. mm -hmm. here's where people are reaching. Yes. Go to the lower right hand corner of this poster. Do you see those orange like glows? Uh huh. People are uh -huh. theorizing Ultron's in the movie. No, <laughs> <laughs> that is fire. Those are flares. Probably just lens yeah. flares. <laughs> no, you know what that is? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one step further. That because like the you know the Earth itself is disrupted and there's there's like fire and brimstone coming out from the bottom. That's Mephisto. Losing <laughs> <to me. gasps> Finally. <laughs> uh, and if you go to the far left of it, just a little above, I put a tweet. I put a, a clip in our chat here so you guys can see kind of what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. There's a off color line. Yes. I don't know if it's a joke or not, but I've seen the theory that that is where they've removed the other Spider-Men and they'll be added in later. Off color. Oh. Line. <laughs> Let me look at your zoom in because I'm not seeing that. Yeah. Hold look on. at the zoom in right yep, nope. about center. You'll see an off color line. Yeah. There is just a line. <laughs> just just an unnatural line. What the? F now, do you think that's an error or do you think that... <sighs> I mean, because you just thing. said everything on this poster is deliberate. Yeah. So I, what is that there for? Here's the thing: the poster is a I'm JPEG, enhancing. right? This is not. <laughs> this is not a. This is not a printed one sheet that's putting up in theaters. In fact, I read recently that uh, theater managers were saying they're not getting any Spider-Man posters for this movie. So we know that they haven't printed posters and mailed them to theaters. If that's the case, then this is a JPEG that is showing us just what they want us to see right now. So you think that and it could be a removal of other Spider-Man? I think it could be. I think it's a JPEG that they released that's like, no, there's going to be more crap in it. Or 
it's just a really crappy poster. <laughs> I've got some weird information here. Um, so I there's a, there's a website called I think Imp Awards or something that I use to find super high res versions of posters, yes. and that's the one I'm looking at on my computer. And Benny, mm -hmm. the screenshot you sent, that black line is in a different spot. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Where is it? Because on on the screenshot you sent, the black obviously I'm gonna throw it up, but the this the, yeah. it's like slightly off of Doc Ock's arm. But on right, on yeah. the yes. on the very high res version that I'm looking at, it's on top of the arm. Oh yeah, I'm looking at it right now. I'm on Where's the your I'm on the Imp Awards. What the hell's going oh, yeah. on? <laughs> so there's yeah. different version of this tri of this poster, and I would say that that's compression, but it's too uniform to be compression. <laughs> Well, yeah. And they dropped it like it was a big deal. Like they they released this. Oh yeah, <laughs> and that poster on Imp Awards is not bigger. Like it's not no. like oh, it's the 4K version. You see more stuff on the outer sides. You know. Yeah. No. It's what just is going like way on? higher resolution, and uh, that's not. Now that could very well just be compression. The fact that it's moved just, just makes me think that it is. I've just I've never seen artifacts that look that uniform before, and it, no. it makes me think that there was a removal. No, I th I think maybe what happened was um, there was <laughs> there was a layer, and I, I'll have to I'll have to see the resolutions of both of these images. But there mm -hmm. was there was a layer like an adjustment layer, like a really small like block of black yeah. opacity that um, or like a transparent black block. That mm -hmm. was that was in high resolution. It's it's right there over the arm, but you scale yep. it down for like socials, and it moves slightly because it wasn't well, linked to anything. These two posters are different sizes. Like the 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 Imp Awards poster is cropped. You see less of Doc yeah, Ock's okay, arm that on would the make left sense than then. you do. Yeah, but the okay. artifacting is still is still there, but in a different place. So. Hey, so I actually wanted to kind of try and demonstrate what the hell it was I was talking about because uh, it's kind of easy to show. Um, and it, it's hard for me to show a mistake like this because I don't know how you could actually make this mistake. So here's a little black box that I've put over the one that's actually in the poster. This is the size difference between the two resolutions of the poster where the black box is to the right of Doc Ock's arm, and it's over Doc Ock's arm in the higher res one. Um, obviously, if I go ahead and shrink this down to match the size, you can see that they're, uh, there's, they're not just like cutting scale here. In the smaller res version where it's moved over, you can see more of Doc Ock's arm in the lower res version here when I'm flipping it on and off. So what that says to me is that something happened where they scaled all of their elements down, probably not um, at the same time, and they moved something over. Like if this was above it and it scaled down, like see how I scaled that down the same, and it's still here on this one, but say, you know, we move the mask of like, uh, like if I were to if I were to make a copy of this the high-res one and You know this this was the poster that we saw this was the mask and Then this was unlinked and we were just like I want to see more of Doc Ock's arm Then this element that was over everything suddenly is way over here uh, Now I don't know what this is. I truly don't it just seems like an error maybe some kind of shadow or some weird mask job but you can see how, like, originally that was placed here, but then I go over here and I move that mask, and now it's over here. But that's why it's in two different spots, most likely. Then it's not Andrew Garfield secretly put it behind no, him. No, this, you know, this is the... Uh, he might be. <laughs> this, this was the, this is the, um, the Doctor Strange and WandaVision thing. It's yes. uh, an, an error that got through that people are freaking out about, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah. just an well, editing because... error. Because people, because because there's an industry of people who talk about this stuff professionally, and they need to talk about it. Like we're talking about it because 
other people are talking. We're talking about it professionally. But no, you I, are honestly, right. We, we, we're following like a trend here. If we are nobody was talking trend. about this, I wouldn't care. Like, legitimately, if there wasn't a discussion about this poster already happening, you guys sent me this thing, and I remember, Benny, you were like, we're, we're talking about the poster, and I'm like, People are already talking about the poster. Let's jump into it. Yeah, but like, that, that's all it was. We would, we, I, I will admit, we would not have done this if it wasn't a trending topic. Right. This is literally a trending topic. I, uh, it's, I've already made three videos about this poster before this. So, <laughs> so I'm, Here's the thing. What I'll say about the poster. The, the thing that I'm going to contribute to the discussion about this poster is this poster, I think, definitively says by Sony slash Marvel, at least Sandman, Electro, Green Goblin, and Go- Doc Ock are in this movie. Yeah. Which we got four of the Sinister Six. So we're obviously going to get two more. Just Yeah. Mysterio and Vulture. Yeah. Venom and Morbius. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it's... I mean, yeah, we're going to get Craven. I, I got a feeling that the reason they're not showing up on here is that they're just keeping... They'll be, have such minor roles. I mean, they already, they already got Michael Keaton to come back for Morbius. They ain't going to get him false. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we know he's willing to come back for anything if he's in Morbius, so <laughs> he's definitely in this movie. <laughs> I mean, he's Batman over in Flash, so he's kind of just got to mm-hmm. do them all now. <laughs> yeah. Do we want to talk about the like other elephant in this photo, which is Green Goblin and like the design that they chose for oh, him? Oh, just everything? the fact that Green Goblin's in this friggin' poster at all. Yeah, he's like, just kind of back there. <laughs> I can't believe he's all the way back there. I can't believe how tiny he is. Like, uh, it, it also says to me, like, the fact that he's so small and back there suggests to me that they changed his design, which, of course, was the rumor right now. Um, I wonder what I, it I looks just like. love that they shove him back. To like, why even put same. him in if you're going to be like, okay, and there. There we go. There yeah. Go. Why I, don't I you put a pumpkin bomb in? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. Or like some gas. I don't know. Yeah, like it, you can like easily you, tell me he's going to be there without having to like hide him. Because well, <laughs> the only human face technically in this movie or in this poster is Spider-Man's, right? Like you didn't need to have another guy in this poster. There's only one no. physical body that needs to be in the poster and it's Spider-Man. The arms, the electricity, the sand, that all says who the characters are. The pumpkin bomb, they, it was good enough for the trailer. Why isn't it good enough for the poster? Yeah. And also, he looks so stupid by the, back there. He's like, yeah, he looks horrible. <laughs> just, he looks horrible. I'm coming, Doc Ock. Yeah, like, just <laughs> replace it with a pumpkin bomb. I mean, like, he literally could have had a pumpkin bomb sitting at his feet or something like that. I mean, yeah. Right. I guarantee yeah. you, this is not even, this is probably not even a shot from this movie. This is probably some weird promotional no, material the, they dug up from Spider Man. That's the thing. The, no, Sam that Rayo. pose is from the trailer. Like, the pose he's doing is from <laughs> the trailer of the movie, which for me is like, that's even more lazy. Like, yeah. it, it make a poster, draw something. And this is just like, mm-hmm. here's, here's a shot. And he's in that awful Iron Man suit. <laughs> yeah. That's not a good suit. People like it, so that's fine. You know, it, it's it looks great in PS4 Spider Man. I like playing with it sometimes, but like, I, did, I here's the thing: you don't watch the trailers. He wears it in the trailer, and it looks awful. Yeah, yeah. I've 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 seen uh, like two screenshots because I've had to grab stuff for thumbnails, and he's yeah. like the one that I've seen where he has like the arms out and he's just kind of standing there. I'm like, wow, this oh looks my like god, garbage. it's so awkward. It looks like <laughs> trash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I sure do want to go motion, back to a more classic. I hope so. They won't change it. That's how the MCO works. He'll get a new, more upgraded one. That's what's going to happen. He has like 17 suits in this movie. He does. That's very true. Like, <laughs> they're going to sell action figures. They're well, going that's back. where I saw them in, Ma- in Walmart. I've seen four different oh, Spider-Man suits at Walmart. Was one and of them like, Raimi's? No. Oh. None of them are Raimi's. I didn't see any of that. I, I know you're going to buy Tom that the moment soon. it comes out. I am keeping a tight lid on that. I'm sure. Yeah. They're trying oh, to. Hey, you, know, you know how we know that they're keeping a tight lid on that? They literally went to Lego and said, no, do yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. It's a good idea because like that's usually how MCU movies get spoiled. It's always Lego because yeah, Lego's Lego. like, we're Lego. We don't care. Yeah. <laughs> nope. We're Lego. We're bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that is our 10-minute discussion about the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, poster. teaser, poster, whatever. <laughs> I'm Benny. That's Sal. That's Dylan. If you want to hear us talking about all things in the world of comic books, please join us here at Absolutely Marvel in DC. We'll see you next time right here.